what are river terraces and what are river benches river terraces and river benches this is in page number 423 and 424 so essentially both are step like features on either side of the river valleys so if this is the river valley here on either side there are step like features on either side there are step like features so something of this kind on both the sides this is the main river so these are called as terraces so this is a terrace this is another terrace the step like features on either side of the rivers now these may be the reasons okay for different processes like for example they can be the consequence of difference in rock hardness so maybe this is a softer rock and this is a harder rock so this may be a harder rock and maybe this is a softer rock the soft rock has eroded more then maybe this again is a harder rock and then we have another softer rock alongside so if it is because of difference of rock hardness this is called as the lithological control then these are called as structural benches the harder rocks become flatter higher surfaces whereas if they are related to river erosion due to lateral expansion of the river then these are called as river terraces so this is structural in origin and river terraces these are erosional in origin so what we mean by this is what do you mean by this if this is the main river as the river expands okay maybe in the floods the river has cut till here so this probably has become a kind of a river terrace in bigger floods maybe then this part has got eroded okay this part has got eroded so as the river expands as the river expands as the river expands it expands it can cut terraces okay and along with expansion there is also valley deepening so there are two ways how these can be formed one is that they are the product of difference in the rock hardness they are controlled by lithology they are called as structural benches but if it they are because of river erosion and lateral expansion they are called as river terraces so river terraces are erosional in origin ye wala example jo hai this example okay is because there is hard rock soft rock a hard rock soft rock so this is a hard rock and then maybe this is a hard rock then maybe this is a hard rock okay so this is example of structural benches if hard and rock soft rocks are alternating the hard rocks remain as the elevated ones the soft rocks are a cut bit more okay so i hope you understood the difference between structural benches and river terraces now the river terraces can be symmetrical okay or they can be asymmetrical if they are symmetrical they are called as paired river terraces agar symmetrical hai they are called as paired river terraces paired river terraces and if they are asymmetrical okay asymmetrical can be because of river meandering then they are also referred to as in grown meanders if they are asymmetrical asymmetrical because of meandering they are called as ingrown jo symmetrical wale hote hain on both sides they are paired and they are symmetrical these are called as entrenched entrenched are generally related to river rejuvenation so page number 424 and 426 you can look this up uh, just one or one and half page ke write up mein hona chahiye do not elaborate too much here like we are just touching upon what are the features what are river terraces what are structural benches there are step like features on either side of the river valley they can be because of rock hardness or lithological control okay because of alternate bands of hard and soft rocks 
then they are called as structural benches. If they are because of erosion and due to lateral expansion, they are called as river terraces. They are erosional. And the river terraces can be paired or they can be asymmetrical. They can be paired or they can be asymmetrical. If they are paired, they are symmetrical. We also call them as entrenched, okay, uh, say terraces. And entrenched ones are generally because of river rejuvenation. The river has rejuvenated, start cutting inside. But if it's purely because of meandering, meandering and uh, okay, the river takes a zigzag path, then we call these as ingrown terraces or ingrown meanders. So just uh, one page write up what are these terms.